nine months into the pandemic, the new travel routine. Oh, uh. it's anything but pleasant. Oh. Oh. There are a lot of complexities that we have never really had to deal with before. Cumbersome quarantines. People don't have the time to be able to spend up to 14 days in quarantine. Confusing requirements. We have your PCR test and oh, no. you Where is it? A global scattershot approach. So while the world waits for a vaccine, we can't simply sit still and do nothing. We can start to take some of these barriers down around the world. The travel industry needs its own course to get moving again. Help! Circuitous connections taking us through even more airports. It's not only our trips have got longer, so I guess I want to test. Now getting from point A to B, it's given me a number, often means navigating a hodgepodge of international COVID requirements, and those can change at the drop of a hat. Obviously, there are a lot of complexities uh, to business travel that we have never really had to deal with before. Travel management veteran Vicky Paris is all too familiar with this challenge. Firstly, there just aren't as many flights, full stop. Redu reduction of capacity. Secondly, connecting flights. It's much more hub to hub or point to point. Thirdly, testing requirements, even in interim transit stops. It's making the most basic of journeys pretty tricky. It's making them extremely complicated. The difficulty comes in and gathering all of the information and making sure that we can give access to our clients that information um, updated in real time. Because as you know, this is changing consistently throughout the journey. It's not that a new rule is created and it stays in place. It only requires one minor change on one of the many destinations that you're sending people to and, and the traveler's in trouble. How are you managing to take, to, to keep up with every minutiae change? So it's ensuring that we've integrated with all of the appropriate sites globally, um, through the different governmental sites, the health advisory sites, obviously immigration as well. It's definitely not as simple as it used to be. Singapore Airlines turned its A380 Super Jumbo into a pop-up restaurant some paying hundreds of dollars for dinner and a movie <laughs> on board a parked plane. Vicky Paris again. I think these things are, they're targeting the leisure customer, but it's not just about increasing or gathering some revenue. It's about creating that brand connection and retaining that brand connection um, with travellers in whatever form possible until actual travel can resume more freely. So let's look for a silver lining. The pandemic may be restricting business travel, but it's unleashed new possibilities. <laughs>